Hello, I'm Dr. Ashley McDermott from Charles River Analytics. The Office of Naval Research tasked our company to create tools to optimize maintenance training. These tools are designed to optimize when you should send students to use the high fidelity simulation or practice on real equipment, and when you're better off reducing time and cost of training by using lower fidelity options, like computer-based training or self-guided online learning. We've also developed a tool to quickly and easily create online learning experiences. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for attending. You are the drivers of high-tech solutions, and our goal is to develop the technology to meet your needs. I'd like to take advantage of that and ask that as you listen to my presentation today, think of one idea for how our, how our technology might apply to you or if you know someone who could use this technology. We'd like to obtain key points of contact from various firms, acquisitions offices, schoolhouses, or other potential users to integrate our technology. I ask that you get in touch and share this idea with me. I know that we can save you time and money and increase training efficiency. At Charles River Analytics, we're an employee-owned small business. Basically, we're a group of smart people working to address the needs of the warfighter and have nearly 40 years of experience doing it. We've had quite a number of successes meeting needs with innovative software and hardware. Here are a few of our success stories including our ongoing success with Magpie, our adaptive game-based simulation training environment, and our Gemfire next generation instruction and rehearsal environment. We're here to develop solutions to your problems. Under this effort, we were tasked with addressing the challenge of developing ITS and simulation training in a principled manner. Typically, these simulations are developed with the idea that the system should always be the highest fidelity possible. But this can be misguided. High fidelity simulations are expensive and are complex to learn. This also limits their scope and can even hinder the student's ability to learn. Alternatively, simulations can also be too low in fidelity and miss training critical skills. You don't need to spend a bunch of your time in the simulation practicing how to use a screwdriver, but you do need to be able to recognize when and why a system is failing and where to find the broken component. The operational need we are addressing is when are students ready for the high fidelity simulation? <clears throat> when should they get access to the real equipment? When are they better served with in-classroom training? When should they be studying on their own before even getting into the classroom? To meet this need, we developed three tools, a recommendation engine that can guide training curriculum development, a learner model to understand how students progress through the training, and an online tutor that can support simulation training for a range of fidelities. The first part of our solution is our training recommendation engine. This software can provide recommendations for the optimal course of training. If you're trying to develop new training, it can provide you with the right type of training to meet the needs of your students based on experience level, type of task, and the learning objectives of interest. What do you want the students to be able to do when they're done? It can also provide recommendations for how to make the best use of training systems you already have. Students only get two hours to work with the equipment as a group. How do you prepare them so that the limited time produces effective results? As you can see here, on the left, the system's able to take input from the training developer who puts in what task they're trying to train, the level of experience of the learner, and what outcomes it's looking to measure. And the recommendation system spits out the recommended fidelity for that type of training. On the right side, 
you can see a training evaluator can put in the task being trained, the fidelity level of the simulation, and the amount of learner experience. And then the recommendation engine will return predicted outcomes for how students will perform in this training. The second component of our solution is the learner model, which helps drive the recommendation engine and can provide predicted outcomes from different training tasks. It is built upon the world-class cognitive architectures of ACTR and SOAR, but uses our own believable agent language, HAP. This provides the learner model with greater flexibility and speed of learning than ACTR and SOAR models usually possess. This model guides our understanding of how quickly a student will learn the requisite skills, given the level of fidelity of the training and their prior experience. The third component is our maintenance troubleshooting tutor. This tutor is web-based and built on the declarative to procedural or D2P framework developed at Penn State. The tutor is designed to be accessible from any device with an internet connection and provide self-guided training in the skills for troubleshooting a maintenance task. This tutor is equipment agnostic, so this could be maintenance for a ship's radar or for an aircraft. The tutor is able to connect with simulations built with the game engine Unity, so it can support a wide range of simulation fidelities. The current version uses a fictitious radar system as a proof of concept used in an experimental study but can easily be customized to existing and future systems that the warfighter will need to maintain. The development for each of these components under our phase two SBIR effort is complete. So any additional work would require additional funding. The recommendation engine is TRL5 with a working prototype. And we are currently working with CAE USA to provide recommendations around a flight training syllabus. The learner model is still in the early stages of development with a TRL of two. We are working on authoring the agents and will validate the agent performance by comparing them to human data, which is currently being collected. The maintenance trainer is currently being used to train troubleshooting skills in an empirical study. We have successfully hooked up multiple simulations of varying fidelity and it is ready to be used with a TRL of six. We are excited to meet with you all to learn how we can modify this capability to meet your needs. So why should you use our solutions? Our recommendation engine enables you to optimize equipment use, acquire the right systems for skills to be trained, and design training systems that work efficiently. The learner model enables you to optimize training schedules, maximize the benefits of using high fidelity training, and reduce cost through optimizing training fidelity. And our troubleshooting tutor enables you to provide an easily accessible training experience that students can complete before they begin working in a classroom or as a refresher before moving to real equipment. By their powers combined, these three components can transform the training for the warfighter optimizing their time, cost, and use of higher fidelity simulations by making sure they are learning the right skills at the right time to ultimately ensure the highest level of readiness. This slide shows how we currently envision we could support the fleet, but we want to hear your ideas after this presentation. We see the most natural fits with maintenance trainers such as the Sea Arts Facility, PMS 339, or in the Fleet Readiness Centers, as well as guiding learning through PAL-3 and the Ready Relevant Learning effort. We are also looking to connect directly with equipment providers. We believe we can provide you with a customized training solution to help warfighters quickly learn how to properly operate your system. We are also pursuing commercial applications for the software. We see applications in technical training, consumer learning products, and providing guidance for AR and VR developers to understand how to design the best learning experiences in the training tools they develop. 
As I mentioned, we are looking to connect with both training providers and primes already providing equipment to the fleet. There is option funding available for our phase two effort to customize our capabilities for you. There are also efforts such as a phase three SBIR to continue transition efforts. Thank you all for your attention. And I hope you're able to think of one way that our software can apply to you or a connection you have who you may think would be interested. Right after the session, we have a table where you can meet with my esteemed colleague, Dr. James Niehaus, to discuss your ideas. You can also reach out to me at amcdermott at cra.com or our VP for these products, who is Dr. Peter Weyrauk, or our VP of Commercialization, Dr. Elaine Coleman. Thanks again, and we look forward to talking to you about how we can meet your needs.